Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about what it means to be a senior software engineer. So I'm going to take you through my definition of seniority and that's going to be based on my experience mostly, but I think the definitions are going to be largely applicable across the board no matter where you are. So I wanna start with an umbrella concept to kind of summarize all the points that I'm going to make. And that is with the idea of a force multiplier. Force multiplier is how we define seniority at my current company and I think Think it's a pretty good definition and so what is a force multiplier it's kind of what it sounds like it allows you to have an outsized impact and so if you think of a lever for example a lever allows you to lift much more weight than you would otherwise be able to lift and it's the same with a senior software engineer and I really like this idea of impact I actually was watching a video on this topic on Mayuko's channel and the woman that she was interviewing mentioned that impact is kind of the main factor when it comes to seniority and I I agree. Okay, so with the overarching definition out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the factors. I have three, and the first is the quality and independence of your work. Okay, so quality and independence of your work. Quality, I think, almost goes without saying. If someone is a senior at a company, I would expect them to be writing really solid code, introducing patterns that other engineers can learn from, keeping up to date with best practices, and generally just sharing knowledge via the code base in a way that's really helpful not only to other engineers, but also to the code itself. Independence is also really important. I don't want to say that it's more important than quality, but at times to me, it almost feels like it is. And that's because as a senior, I think most people are looked to for help and to be unblocking other people, not to be blocked yourself. And that's not to say that I'm never stuck on anything and that I don't have to ask questions. But generally speaking, I think at some point the balance starts to shift where you're the person going to others to ask for help and you start to become the person that other people are seeking out to get unblocked. I think that leads well into my next point, which is that a senior levels their whole team up and usually ends up mentoring other people. So I think this is where that definition of a force multiplier tends to really come into play in a very tangible way, because when a senior engineer ends up leveling their whole team up, that's kind of felt far beyond the impact of this one person because at that point you're making everybody better and everybody is able to do better work. This leveling up could come in a lot of different ways. It could come through introducing good patterns in the code base like I just mentioned, but it can also come more directly through feedback on pull requests. It can come a little bit more indirectly through mentoring relationships. So if you have a indirect or informal mentoring relationship with someone, you can advise them on how to grow, how best to learn, how to level their skills skills up. And a lot of times that's a pattern that can be perpetuated up to a certain point. So you end up kind of having this ripple effect beyond yourself. And that's really where impact is felt, I've found. I think a big part of leveling your team up is also being on top of trends and cutting edge practices introducing new technologies as appropriate into your project teams and making sure that people have the opportunity to learn new things and continue to level their skills up. In addition to leveling your team up, there are practices that a senior developer implements that don't necessarily have to do directly with their relationships with other people, but are still really important in terms of project health. So I would call this being able to operate strategically and not just tactically, with tactically meaning being able to jump in and debug something really quickly in a code base if the website is crashing, something like that. But I'm talking about strategic thinking and visioning, which really happens at the project management level. I think it can be easy to assume that an engineer's job is just to pull tasks off Jira or whatever the project management software is and just execute tasks and make sure that they're passing and that's it. But I think senior engineers tend to have an impact on the project health level. So what this looks like practically is that senior engineers are engaging on a high level with the project managers and product managers, getting in the backlog, scoping tickets, prioritizing things, sequencing work in a way that makes sense, talking about features that are coming down the pipeline, and making sure that the work is getting divided and executed in a way that makes sense for the strategic priorities of the project or the product. This is something that I think some people struggle with because it requires a different kind of thinking and a set of soft skills that not necessarily every engineer has, but I think if you can develop this kind of way of operating, it is super beneficial not only to you, but to your company and your team. So those are the three buckets that I would put senior engineering skills in, the quality and independence of your work, leveling up your team, 
and strategic thinking and visioning. To sum all this up, basically when you lose a senior engineer, you feel their absence because they've had such an impact. And I think that is really the best way to tell if you've lost somebody that has achieved seniority. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching to the end. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and career development. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay humble, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.